How's it going everyone, Tavius here and today we're talking about 5 warlock exotics to look out for when R3.0 releases. We've only got a couple more weeks before the release so let's get into it. If you like this type of content you already know what to do so let's begin. In number 5 we got Mantle of Battle Harmony, exotic chess piece released with Season of the Chosen currently obtainable through solo legend lost sectors. Great for Chaos Reach and Storm Trance, this exotic works with any subclass but with Arc 3.0 and some nice arc weapons it might be an excellent choice, here's why. Absorption Cells, takedowns with weapons that have a damage type matching your subclass, so arc weapons, grant you super energy. While your super energy is full you gain a temporary bonus to weapon damage, for your arc weapons in this case. So pairing this exotic with a nice arc exotic weapon will refill your super quick and also grant a bonus to your arc weapon damage. I have a video on best arc exotic weapons if you want to check that out. Coming in at number 4 we have Storm Dancer's Brace, another exotic chess piece. This one released with the Shadowkeep expansion and it's a random drop. Ascending Amplitude, the exotic perk, increases the damage you deal with Storm Trance with each kill and refunds up to 50% of your super when your super ends. A really good exotic for Stone Trance since it allows you to get back up to half of your super after it ends. So much faster and stronger Stone Trance supers with this exotic, plus who knows what our Arc 3.0 fragments will do to this exotic. For number 3 we have one of my favorites, the Getaway Artist. This exotic released during Season of the Drifter over 3 years ago, I know time flies. Dynamic Duo converts your Arc Grenade into a supercharged Arc Soul by holding your grenade button. The Arc Soul functions as a turret, also known as Arc Buddy. If you spec for grenade and continuously convert it into your Arc Soul, you can have Arc Buddy assisting you almost all the time. Now with some extra aspects and fragments in Arc 3.0, we could possibly boost the damage of the Arc Soul or even add some chain lining capabilities to it. It's about to get nasty. Coming in at number 2 we have the Crown of Tempest. This exotic has been with us since the dawn of time, a bit similar to Storm Dancer's Brace but this one instead of refunding super energy after the super ends, it extends the super while you're using it. Conduction Tines Arc ability kills increase the recharge rate of your arc abilities and extend the duration of Storm Trance super, so grenade, melee or super kills recharge your other abilities. This paired with some good aspects and fragments plus seasonal mods could be extremely powerful with R3.0. We've got one more to go but before that I got two honorable mentions. I won't go into much detail but there might be something with R3.0 so here it is. The Stag. This exotic recently got a nerf because all warlocks were using it on trials but its rift focused exotic perk might bring it back to the crucible. And Chromatic Fire. Chromatic Fire makes explosions with precision kills with kinetic weapons on the element of your subclass, so arc explosions with kinetic weapons could be a nice way to go next season. Alright, so in number 1, my absolute favorite exotic for the arc warlock, Geomite Stabilizers, released with Forsaken and a random drop. This exotic was nerfed a couple seasons back, removing the ability to top off your super by running when close to full. It was so overpowered and so much fun but now I understand why. Still my account sits at 133,000 storm color kills because of this. But what does it do now? Close enough. I think they should have changed the exotic perk name in my opinion. Anyway, damaging targets with chaos reach extends its duration. So you can do a nice swipe from left to right, right to left to hit all enemies on screen or just stick to the boss to extend its duration. Pairing this exotic with some ionic traces and maybe that one exotic trace rifle that spawns ionic traces like I said on my last video, we could potentially get our supers back extra fast and melt those bosses. So excited to try this one. And there it is my friends, 5 exotics for the warlock every warlock should have going into R3.0. I hope you found this informative, if you did a like and heavy attack on the subscribe button really helps me fight the nasty algorithm. My name is Tapius Place, all my content information is down in the description, I thank you for your viewership and if you like to watch other Informative Destiny 2 videos you can click here.